so friends from the airport guys this is where the story gets very very interesting <laughs> the juicy part of the story and at that time Chantal couldn't wait to see the gifts that Jason has brought for her remember she is the girlfriend and they are meeting for the first time so you who is watching this story I want you to write me in the comment section below what gift do you think Jason brought for Chantel? <laughs> Guys, surprise! <laughs> so friends, as you already know, today's video is going to be a story time. Yes, guys, today we have another story from a Rwandan lady by the name of Chantal who found love on online dating apps with a guy from the UK, United Kingdom, and planned to meet this guy. But what happened on their first meeting, you won't believe, guys. <laughs> so to know everything of how it started till they met for the first time and happened what happened, watch this story till the end because guys you'll get emotional watching this story you will laugh a lot <laughs> guys if you have not laughed for quite some time then today sit down with your popcorns with a glass of wine a glass of juice and get ready to laugh because <laughs> oh my god things can happen with these men on online dating apps <laughs> if you are on online dating apps searching for love you will learn a lot especially when it comes to the red flags you ladies that are dating guys who are divorced with kids <laughs> you are going to learn a lot you guys who are dating older men a man who is way way older than you then you will learn a lot guys because Chantal is in her 20s and this guy Jason from the UK is in his 60s yes so if you are dating an older guy or you are planning to date an older guy or older guys have been writing you messages on online dating apps and you're like i don't know should i answer this guy <laughs> i've been here for so long and i can't find anyone serious maybe i should answer this older guy so you also learn a lot because we see there is a very big age difference between Chantel and jason 40 years difference guys and lastly what you're going to learn from this story is all about that first meeting what are those important things to look out for when the guy visits you in your country for that first time so friends before i start sharing with you this story i would like to take this opportunity to say thank you chantelle to share your story guys i've been chatting with chantelle for so long i've known her story and at some point i wanted to share her story so i had wanted to ask her to share this story but i was a bit scared if she will accept <laughs> so eventually one day we we're talking she told me bella i I think you should share my story of all that happened so that ladies out there can learn I was so so happy and that is why I'm saying thank you Chantel guys I don't want to waste much of your time let us jump into this story right now so friends Chantel's story starts when she was very little her mother abandoned her then it was the dad who grew her up till she was 15 at the age of 15 another tragedy happened lost the dad so friends when Chantel lost the dad it is Chantel's uncle who took care of her as of recent this uncle was very very good she tells us never lacked anything the uncle took care of her just as his own daughter even after the loss of the dad Chantel continued with her studies friends Chantel tells us at school she had lots of friends but there is this particular boy they were really really close they were best friends so when she turned 18 that is when her love story began she started dating that boy they were crazily in love with each other the boy was the same age as Chantel and even the families started you know <laughs> finding out that these people had more than friendship <laughs> but eventually Chantel's uncle blessed it 
only told her not to share her goodies <laughs> to be careful because never wanted to be a grandfather soon so they kept dating but it was just no more dating no sharing the goodies or anything pure love <laughs> friends their pure love relationship continued and eventually high school finished when they finished high school the parents of the boy decided that they wanted their son to go study abroad when Chantel got the news she was very very sad because they were going to be very very far away from each other even the boy was so so sad but they had no option you know when you are young you listen to your parents they are the ones to decide for you so that is why they didn't have any choice so guys the day before this boy traveled to abroad for studies went to see Chantal actually she tells us when she saw him started crying because <laughs> she was thinking of how she's gonna miss him she was so so in love with this boy and I can understand her guys but this boy promised Chantal that don't worry we will keep on communicating I am going to study this is for our own good and when I return I promise you I am going to marry you but please take care of yourself don't give up on our love I don't want to go and then when I return I find you with another guy no please wait for me Chantal told him yes I'm going to wait for you I'm not going to give up on our love and you too don't go out there find someone else and forget about me you know guys when you're in a love relationship the words that you tell each other <laughs> especially if you're going to be far away for some years <laughs> yeah so eventually they hugged and said goodbye so friends Chantal tells us after this boyfriend went abroad to study he kept his promise of communicating with Chantal so he could call but through the uncle's phone because Chantal didn't have a phone so they could communicate every weekend Chantal too continued with her studies but in Rwanda and then one Saturday the boyfriend called remember I told you they could communicate every weekend so that weekend the boyfriend called laughed you know told each other i love you i can't wait to see you i miss you so much <laughs> you know such kind of word and at the end of the call the boyfriend told chantal i am going to call you next weekend again so they said goodbye and because it was at night they said good night so guys the next morning was sunday and chantal went to church the uncle remained at home that sunday did not go to church so after the church service chantal returned at home and found his uncle very restless when the uncle saw chantal told her please come my daughter we have to talk something bad has happened sit down so Chantel had to sit down and when she sat down the uncle took her hands and told her you know what we lost your boyfriend Chantel was like what I talked with him yesterday the uncle told her I received the call from the parents the university where your boyfriend was studying called the parents told them that they found him today morning in bed and he wasn't breathing Chantel cried a lot was so heartbroken tells us she couldn't eat she couldn't do anything she kept on thinking about the boyfriend of what happened it took her one year with the help of the relatives and friends to move on she remained single for one year and then one day went to the saloon to do her hair while she was there met a lady who had found love on online dating apps and this lady was talking to the hairdresser about her story telling her that she is getting ready to go reunite with this american boyfriend that they met on online dating apps when chantel heard the story had to ask this lady lots of questions about the dating apps and the lady was so open very kind told chantel the name of the dating app where she found that american guy even gave her four names of the dating apps for Chantel to try because she seemed interested and from there guys that is when Chantel's journey of an online dating apps started so she went home downloaded those dating apps that the lady at the saloon gave to her 
and immediately started chatting with men from all over the world. But Chantal tells us did not have any experience about dating apps. It was her first time on online dating apps. So she used to think that all white men are good. They are very honest. They don't cheat. They are so romantic, you know? <laughs> Imagined lots, lots of good things about white men. <laughs> but she was so, so wrong. We can't judge her. She was new to the apps and dating white men. <laughs> she told us it was four months on online dating apps and wasn't finding anyone that was serious. Someone who told her, maybe I want to come meet you or I want to invite you. Nothing like that. All men that she was chatting to were just playing games, only asking her nude photos, talking, you know, dirty talks. Those are the guys that she met within those four months. So after four months, started chatting with a white guy that was in Rwanda. For her, she didn't have any experience of what to look out for if you date a white guy who is in Africa, nothing like that. For her, a white man was a saint. <laughs> <laughs> so she started dating this white guy he was from denmark but living in rwanda working there they dated for a while and this guy was so good at words eventually the guy made sure he gets chantelle's goodies <laughs> chantelle gave her goodies thinking that this guy was a saint this guy was going to marry her according to his words <laughs> but after taking the goodies then this guy started acting weird he couldn't pick any more Chantel's calls or reply to Chantel's messages. Chantel kept on insisting on this relationship because she wasn't getting it that this guy was only a player who only wanted the African goodies. <laughs> so in the end, after Chantel insisted a lot, this guy couldn't take it anymore, told Chantel in black and white that I'm no longer interested in you, go look for another man. It hurts guys, it really, really hurts. After that experience, she cried a lot again and felt very, very bad that that guy used her. But at the same time, could still receive messages from guys on online dating apps and that gave her like a comfort to keep on searching. Guys, I'm going to be writing down the name of the dating apps that Chantel used. So Chantel continued with her journey on online dating apps, chatting with guys, and after one year, Chantel had not found anyone. And then one day when Chantel was browsing through men's profile, came across this profile of a 65 years old guy, but what she tells us, his profile was really nice. The guy seemed serious and Chantel was like, let me try to send a message to this guy. Right now, I don't care the age of the man. What I want is to find a guy who will love me, who will take care of me. You know, she wasn't looking at the age completely. I know right now you're like, what? 65 years of age <laughs> yes it is what it is guys she did she sent a message and the guy replied right away <laughs> like the guy was waiting for Chantel's message so they immediately started chatting they vibe so you know guys when you start communicating you ask each other questions Chantel asked this guy what are you looking for in here? And the guy was very, very honest with Chantal, told her that, you know, I've been here, but just to play games. <laughs> for me, I don't think someone can find love on online dating apps, but let's see how it goes between me and you. My real, real intention of coming here on the side was just to see the ladies' boobs. <laughs> <laughs> see what their mama gave them and do some online guys if you are on online dating apps searching you know men like that exist those guys who have been telling you oh show me this show me your goodies i don't want to see surprise when i see you eventually <laughs> so this guy was one of them 
but Chantel didn't care as long as the guy kept on chatting with her and the guy was showing interested so she was like okay let us see where this takes us but you who is watching this story I want you to be honest if you were Chantel could you have continued chatting with this guy his name is Jason from United Kingdom <laughs> or you couldn't have continued chatting with Jason because he has told you he is in the site to play games so they kept on communicating getting to know each other and Jason started opening up about his life Jason had divorced had two sons and the lady wasn't from the United Kingdom the lady was from Haiti not a British lady to add on that Jason really talked so bad about the ex-wife said that the ex-wife was a prostitute the ex-wife wants to take the kids custody the ex-wife wants his house the ex-wife wants his money so they are in a very very big fight they are actually fighting in court for that so when Chantel heard that was like oh my god I'm so sorry for all that happened because Jason played a victim so that Chantel can feel sorry for him and from there Chantel started comforting him telling him beautiful words words of comfort so this made this relationship to keep on going and every day it's like Jason took advantage of this situation he could always talk about his problems something that at some point started bothering Chantal and that is how guys she came on my Instagram to ask for an advice so she wrote to me on Instagram and started explaining everything about her relationship with Jason also told me about their age difference something that wasn't a problem with her but what was bothering her is because Jason was complaining about his problems all the time so friends when Chantel told me about Jason complaining only about his problems I was like this guy is wrong because everyone has got problems does this guy ask you if you have problems she was like no I asked her if you are the one going through all those problems with your ex-husband could this guy be by your side could this guy comfort you like the way you are comforting him she was like Bella I don't think so I told her girl I think this relationship has started with the wrong foot so stand as a woman who understands herself as a woman who wants to be treated the right way tell this guy to solve his problems and once his problems are over if you still be single he can look for you friends the truth is a man who can solve his own problems that's a red flag he will never make a good husband yes because a real man should solve his own problems and even if he has good problems he will give you a bit of it and tell you not to worry because he will be scared to lose you by telling you all his problems all the time but a guy who gives you all his problems you know that he doesn't care and he takes you maybe just as a friend <laughs> so she was like okay Bella I have understood you I am going to do as you advised me stand for what I believe is right stand to be treated the right way guys you know when you are in a relationship we tend to be blinded by love and when you date a guy like Jason a guy who makes stupid stupid mistakes or treats you bad and then comes acts very sweet so that you can forget everything <laughs> it is very very hard to move out of a relationship with such kind of a guy so that is what happened to Chantel she couldn't move out of that relationship kept on going because this guy was sweet and bitter <laughs> <laughs> so after Jason said sorry I won't talk about again about my problems it's because I'm very worried and I love you that is why I tell you everything that is going on they continued their relationship and then one time Chantel told me something that really worried me a lot so she told me as she was chatting with Jason Jason told her that the ex-wife has accused him of life-threatening phrases when I asked her what are those life-threatening phrases she was like Jason told the ex-wife if you ever take my sons away from me I am going to kill you and bury you in my garden and to add on that when they fought Jason threw her out of the house in the middle of the night 
with nowhere to go. So when Chantel told me about that, the first thing I asked her, is it true Jason said those words? Because if it is true, girl, this is very, very worrying. You might find yourself in trouble. What if this woman is right? Try to put yourself in the shoes of the ex-wife. Remember, this woman gave him two sons. Who are you? You are not special. You can't change a man. If this guy is aggressive, if this guy is that inhuman, I think there is fire girl. She told me, Bella, no, Jason did not utter out those life-threatening phrases. I stand with Jason. So she supported Jason because Jason continued to play the victim in this whole situation. But guys, that was the red flag that Chantel was supposed to watch out. So guys, they continued dating and then one time happened a very big fight whereby as they were fighting, Jason told Chantel, I sent you 60 pounds, my 60 pounds you know complaining more about that money how he helped her <laughs> but in real sense Chantel tells us she never asked that 60 pounds but the reason why Chantel was very very angry it's the way that Jason was talking about it so she was like in our culture you can't help someone and then keep reminding them about how you helped them so I told Chantel that was very wrong of him why talk about that 60 pounds that he helped you but seriously guys <laughs> if it was me I could have sent back that 60 pounds yes you can't treat me like that <laughs> she was only talking about her problems and then he was like I'm going to send you 60 pounds and then he comes and talks about it <laughs> hello so Jason <laughs> wanted to take the relationship to the next level told Chantel I want to invite you they started the documents and Chantel went for the visa but unfortunately she was denied the visa after being denied the visa Jason told her don't worry I love you so much when I imagine my wife I imagine you so I will be the one to come but I won't come alone I'm going to come with my two sons so friends like I told you Chantel was living with the uncle it continued like that and at some point happened a misunderstanding you know in families misunderstandings are very normal so this misunderstanding caused Chantel to move out of her uncle's house and where did she go she went to stay with her best friend so when jason told chantel that he wants to visit rwanda the friend told chantel why can't your boyfriend come to my house and stay here i have empty rooms to accommodate jason and his two sons chantel talked to jason about it jason was very very happy told chantel you have saved me because paying for three tickets it's not cheap i've spent lots of money so everything was fine and they continued with their plan for the trip so at some point chantel wanted to buy some things for the rooms like mosquito nets bed sheets so that everything can be in order when they arrive and told jason to send some money to buy for the mosquito nets and some more bed sheets jason wasn't happy about it he started complaining about the 60 pounds he sent her if you remember again <laughs> and also was like i regret to go through that visa process that eventually you did not get it i've spent lots of money i don't have money anymore you just see what to do chantel called me and was like bella i don't understand this guy anymore and i think he's very very stingy <laughs> but chantel did the impossible to make sure everything is in order for jason and his two sons and she was so excited waiting for jason and the sons so guys the day for jason to go to rwanda came chantel called me and was super excited very happy told me bella today is the day that i have been waiting for <laughs> my boyfriend is coming and i'm very very positive about his visit because i think it is going to solve our problems that we had while we were chatting i told chantel i'm so so happy for you girl very excited too for you good luck so chantel and the friend went to the airport to pick jason and the sons when they arrived chantel was so so happy to see jason jason too was happy to see chantel so friends 
from the airport guys this is where the story gets very very interesting <laughs> the juicy part of the story <laughs> that will make you laugh a lot but at the same time get angry <laughs> yeah so sit very well and listen watch this story so when they arrived at Chantal's friend's house jason started organizing the things in the room meaning he was unpacking and at that time Chantal couldn't wait to see the gifts that Jason has brought for her. Remember, she is the girlfriend and they are meeting for the first time. So you who is watching this story, I want you to write me in the comment section below, what gift do you think Jason brought for Chantel? <laughs> guys, surprise! <laughs> so guys, Jason continued organizing things. Chantel kept on waiting for the gift. <laughs> and eventually Jason brought out a bottle from his bag and was like my love this is your gift so when Chantel looked at it at first she thought it was a shower gel and was very very disappointed <laughs> she called me and was like Bella you won't believe what this guy brought me as a gift I was like what it is <laughs> She told me, Bella, this guy brought me a shower gel. Can you imagine? I told her, what? <laughs> shower gel? That is so strange. <laughs> Why did this guy bring you a shower gel? But after one day, <laughs> you're going to laugh more about this. <laughs> she came to find out it wasn't even a shower gel. It was... An intimate soap. <laughs> Guys, I laughed so hard. I told Chantel, please girl, forgive me. I have to laugh about this because it's very, very funny. <laughs> intimate soap. <laughs> oh my God. I also got very, very disappointed in Jason. So friends, after laughing, I told Chantel, but this guy, I don't know how he thinks. Yes, let's be honest. He has spent a lot, you know, paying for three tickets. It's true. Very, very expensive. From the UK to Rwanda, it's expensive. But guys, Chantel remains special to Jason. Yes. So this guy was supposed to think beyond his nose and at least buy something small like chocolates, lingeries, a bracelet. It doesn't have to be an expensive bracelet. Not at all, guys. He could have just bought a silver bracelet, but I'm so sure those things could have made Chantel very happy, feel special, feel loved. But he failed, guys. He failed completely. And that is when you see how the guy is interested in you. Yes, small things that makes you feel special as a woman. So guys, coming to you again, you who is watching this video now, tell me in the comment section, after receiving that intimate soap or intimate detergent, <laughs> what could have you done to Jason? <laughs> I'm going to give you my own reaction. For me guys, I could have told Jason, you know what? my friend has changed the plans she is going on a trip so look for where to go seriously guys <laughs> and i could have ended it that same same day because it's not me who told him to bring the sons could have left those sons to the sisters or to the cousins anyone close to him because the visit was for me and him not with the sons yes guys it's not that someone is becoming selfish but that moment is special that first meeting of the two of you and he is bringing the sons <laughs> then to add on that he brings you an intimate soap that is very very offensive yes guys let's be honest <laughs> so after spending some few days in rwanda they continued their relationship guys i'm telling you chantel is a lady who can tolerate a lot <laughs> she had lots of hopes in that relationship so they planned a very very important trip to chantel's grand father wait for another afro cinema <laughs> so chantel told jason you have to buy some few gifts for my grandfather because that is our culture that is how we do it when we go to visit the elders 
So when Jason heard the idea of buying things for the grandpa, he got very angry and was like, is it a must? <laughs> Chantal told him, yes, it's a must. So he went and bought one kilo of sugar and some small things, things that made Chantal very, very embarrassed to bring them out of the car when they arrived at the grandpa's house. <laughs> Because she told me, Bella, my grandpa is well off. The things that Jason brought, he could have bought those things for himself. And to add on, he is a white man. Not only that, more older than me. Because guys, if you're not an African, you're watching this. <laughs> that moment is when a man shows that he can take care of you. Yes, to the parents, to the grandpa. <laughs> but him bringing those small, small things things the grandpa leaves the impression that he can take care of Chantal that's it guys that is the African way my fellow Africans who are watching this video they will agree with me on this Chantal had no option brought up those gifts <laughs> those small small things that Jason brought for the grandpa went to the grandpa they greeted the grandpa was so happy at first <laughs> seeing Jason happy for Chantal and they had a translator someone to translate what Jason was saying to the grandpa and what the grandpa was saying to Jason so as they started talking the grandpa asked Jason what is your plan with my grandchild guess what jason responded he said i am not a fortune teller i am not god let us see <laughs> the grandpa wasn't happy with the answers but again what can he do <laughs> nothing <laughs> the granddaughter is in love also sometimes jason could say offensive words to the grandpa but the translator made sure he changed those words seem good Chantal tells us she felt very very embarrassed and wanted time to go so fast so that they can leave the grandpa's place so they left the grandpa's place but left a very very bad impression even the guy of the taxi told Chantal girl your man is complicated <laughs> they understood him so with this i've been advising you don't introduce a man to your family if you yourself you're not sure of this guy's true intentions because you will cause embarrassments to yourself better save yourself girls so after returning home that evening she tells us it was on friday and that Friday, Jason wanted to make like, you know, a romantic dinner date. But that dinner date wasn't only for Chantel and Jason. It was for Jason, the sons and Chantel. <laughs> so Chantel chose a very beautiful restaurant which had live music that day because Chantel wanted Jason to listen to some live music. So they went to that dinner date, they ate, and after eating, they started drinking and Jason was taking beer, Chantel taking some champagne. After Jason took some few beers, he started acting high. <laughs> <laughs> the guy started dancing and at that restaurant had black African ladies and Jason kept on looking at those ladies. When he stood up to dance, those ladies went and started dancing with Jason, you know, touching him and he was acting like he came alone, pretending he doesn't know Shant. <laughs> Guys, this also made me laugh a lot because <laughs> even the way Chantel was telling me, oh my god, it was so so funny, guys. <laughs> Chantel felt very bad, and that night came to an end. They went home. She told Jason, I wasn't happy for what you did, pretending you don't know me, pretending you were alone, <laughs> and dancing with those ladies, touching you. It was so so bad. I felt really really bad. Jason brought up an excuse and was like, it's because I was drunk but for me I don't think this guy was drunk this man is one of those old guys you find on online dating apps looking for young ladies remember the age difference is very very big but he is not satisfied with Chantel still he's looking out for other young ladies so he begged for forgiveness and Chantel forgave him Chantel tells us 
from the day he arrived in Rwanda was planning every day where to go for tour and whenever he could be out touring he was in a very very good mood very excited because it was his first time to be out of the UK to be in Africa so after a week Jason being in Rwanda Chantel told Jason you need to buy some things for the house you know like foodstuffs and small things because he wasn't staying at the hotel guys he was staying at Chantel's friend's house so for a normal man a responsible man Chantel wasn't even supposed to ask him he was supposed to buy things without being asked but with Jason he waited Chantel to tell him to buy things and guess the reaction <laughs> Chantel tells us he turned red after being told to buy things then started complaining he doesn't have money money this money that she told him you have to buy things because this is not my house and these people will think very strange of you eventually he brought out money they bought things guys are you about to explode for anger <laughs> i know but it does not end here <laughs> afro cinema continues <laughs> so friends after that incident the next day they went out for tour and as they were touring around <laughs> they passed through a market this market they were selling these african cultural things handmade things guess what jason told Chantal and this broke her heart he told her please help the kids to choose the gift for their mother <laughs> Chantal felt very very bad and was like this is the same guy that brought me an intimate soap and now telling me to choose the gift for the ex-wife so that he can bring that gift to the UK she felt bad but to the kids they chose the gift and then returned home so guys the tour continued and Chantel tells us whenever they were out when they could take photos Jason could make sure he takes photos with his sons only and another one could take with Chantel then the ones that he could take with the kids he could send them to the family and do you know why is that <laughs> It's because Jason's relatives never knew anything about Jason and Chantel. He could always give excuses. I'll tell them, I'll tell them, I will tell them. Because what happened with my ex-wife, my sisters can't trust any other lady apart from a British lady. So you are a black woman. My ex-wife is from Haiti. So they won't accept it that easily. Keep giving me time. I will introduce you. Guys, I'm telling you, never accept any excuses. If this guy says he loves you, he's gonna marry you, he should introduce you to his family. So guys, Chantel tells us it was a very short period of time that they met, but they could fight a lot. And all the time, Chantel could tell Jason sit down let's talk and solve this Jason could be like I'm not ready to sit down and talk with you <laughs> and he could talk to the sons you know she could hear Jason sharing everything with the son about their fights not only that guys one time they were out and then Jason wanted to buy something of low quality Chantal told him that thing is of low quality don't buy it the guy started shouting at Chantal you don't know anything what are you talking about <laughs> in front of people and Chantal felt very very embarrassed because everyone was looking at them this white guy that is shouting at this young lady so she told him i'm not happy for you to shout me in front of people if there is a problem let's talk and there i was trying to save you money she told me about this thing of shouting at her i was like girl if that guy is acting like that in your country what if you go to the uk what will happen where you don't know anyone you know only him be very very careful i never wanted to tell her to leave the guy i wanted her to decide on her own because that's her life guys but i told her what she's doing she's taking a very big risk something else that is very very funny Chantel tells us <laughs> i'm laughing even before i tell you whenever jason's phone could ring 
or could hear the voice of the message he could jump in the air <laughs> He was very very restless and one time Chantel tried to look at his phone found a message from a lady saved mommy <laughs> this message was like my love I am going to shower so Chantel was like who is this woman she had to ask Jason and Jason told her that's my adopted daughter I'm so sorry I never told you about it so Chantel went and asked the sons how many sisters do you have the sons were like we don't have any sister so from there she knew jason never had any sister and that woman wasn't adopted daughter was just one of his young ladies because the woman was young from the photo so chantal was very very confused of who jason is because she kept on discovering things that she wasn't aware of one day chantal was in a room with jason and then jason's phone started ringing when he looked at it, it was the ex-wife calling. Do you know what Jason told Chantel? Please hide behind the door. I don't want my ex-wife to see you. <laughs> she was like, why? Why don't you want your ex-wife to see me? He said, I don't want to lose my sons. If she sees you, I'm going to lose my sons. Chantel had to go and hide behind the doors. But if you were Chantel, could you have hidden behind that door? So he talked with the ex-wife and then when the call ended, Chantel got so mad at him, told him, I think you're still with your ex-wife. He said, no, I'm not still with my ex-wife, but my ex-wife doesn't know that I am dating you. Even our sons knows that you are just a friend. Do you see guys? I told you, if you're dating a man, he should be clear with you. Even the kind of the relationship that he has with the ex-wife, you are supposed to know. Are they still good friends or they have only that relationship because they are still co-parenting? You should know guys. So friends, I know right now you're very angry at Jason of everything that he is doing, but you would like to know if Chantel shared her goodies. Yes guys, Chantel shared the goodies to Jason. So guys, I kept on trying to talk to Chantel to open her eyes so that she can make the right decision. I told her this guy in his family, no one knew about your relationship. That means if you could have gone to the UK, he could have locked you in the house. You can't go anywhere with him because no one is supposed to see you with him in the streets. <laughs> what kind of life is that? live like a prisoner so guys i tried to talk to chantel to make her reason and see the reality of that relationship that it was toxic she never had the courage to move out of that toxic relationship she never had the courage to tell jason it's over i don't want you let's end it no guys she kept on with that relationship and i don't blame her because guys when you are in a toxic relationship and that relationship has grown roots it's very very hard to uproot them it is very very hard to get out of that relationship so they continued with their relationship and Chantel continued to have lots of hopes in that relationship that everything is gonna be fine I told her what is the next step what is this guy saying yes you still have hopes but what about him so she talked to Jason and told Jason you came here we had lots of plans you promised me you're going to marry me you promised me that we are going to go to the embassy to know the possibilities of me going to the UK as your wife but you have been here I see you only touring we haven't done anything about our relationship to make our relationship move forward jason replied i am not a fortune teller i'm not a magician i am not god <laughs> so don't ask me about future plans in the end after fighting for so much he said okay tomorrow we are going to the embassy so the next day they went to the embassy without any appointment and when they arrived there they talked to someone but they did not get any answers no next step and the day for jason to return to the uk came he returned to the uk and when he arrived there he started writing to chantal telling her i am so sorry i had a chance for a relationship to work but i did not use the chance very well please give me another chance i love you and i want you in my life at this point chantal was very very tired 
and after all she went through she had learned a lesson from everything so she told jason no it's over between us i don't want you anymore so guys if you want to know the name of the dating app where chantelle met jason they met on f dating the same f dating that we have been hearing lots of success stories yes that one and after all this that happened Chantel was very angry even said i'll never go back to the dating apps but i made her reason very well told her the problem is not the dating apps the dating apps did not tell you to chat with a guy who had different intentions on the dating app because guys the first first red flag was when jason said he is in the app to play with ladies to see ladies boobs to play online sex he didn't have same same reasons of why chantelle was on online dating apps he wasn't serious and chantelle was serious so it wasn't the fault of the dating app that chantelle ended up with jason so friends after making chantelle reason very well guess what guys chantelle returned to the dating apps and found a guy from austria this guy is very loving he has introduced chantelle to everyone in his family even his colleagues chantelle tells me bella everything that you have been discussing in the video to look out for in a man who is serious this guy has got them i feel good to be loved i feel like right now i am in love i don't feel like i'm forcing myself to him nothing like that and this guy has proposed already on the video call december he is going to rwanda meet chantelle he has booked the ticket already so guys let us wish her all the best in her new relationship quickly guys there's some things i would like to advise you and number one is age difference i said age is just a number but guys please don't exaggerate it you can advise from me if a guy comes to visit you in your country don't rush to give him the goodies see first if the things he promised you he will put them into actions fast <laughs> that is very very important don't just give him the goodies and let him tour africa <laughs> that advice from me your sister african bella is never put yourself in a complicated relationship if a guy is still fighting with the ex the guy is still fighting with the kids if the guy is still fighting with his family there is no need for you to put yourself in the middle you're going to make your life very complicated and miserable yes my fourth advice and the last one guys observe the red flags even before you meet this guy if you start seeing that you are fighting in the chats <laughs> know that when you meet in person it's gonna be worse so there is no need for you to continue that relationship you deserve the peace of mind you deserve to be in a healthy relationship and it is very very possible please don't settle for less and if you see the relationship is not going in the direction that you wanted better end it so friends let us meet in the comment section below i would like to know what you think about this story please give it a thumbs up if you've liked this story share it to your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy it and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to learn a lot subscribe please if you have not subscribed i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao